Hi everybody, welcome to, ooh, 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 my tablet started to go south, okay, welcome to February in beautiful sunny England, um, my goodness the sun is shining, it's got that lovely, it's still going south, it's still going south, oh my goodness, what am I going to do here, this is ridiculous, I so need to sort this out. Okay, let's regroup. Um, yeah, the sun is shining. Um, it's 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 spring is in the air. It's beautiful, and um, just the most beautiful day. The last couple of days have been gorgeous. We've had some rain, but anyway, I'm waffling on. I wanted to do a quick uh, vlog today on another set that I got from QVC, um, and this set is the uh, Photo Mineral set by Judith Williams. Um, what I got in the set, and it cost me fifty-five pound and ten pence was a massive uh, day cream this is 200 mils and then I have a, a huge serum this is 100 mils of the serum and finally a massive 50 mil eye cream that came in the set as well uh, now when you're buying a face cream eye cream um, serum set um, you'll often find that you might even get a 15 mil serum uh, maybe a, a you know a, a 15 mil eye cream and a 50 mil face cream this set gives you the most it, it, a massive product amount for your money and I have to say that when I watched the demonstration it was about a month or two ago um, the sizes actually put me off because I just figured you're just getting tons of products so oh you know it, she's trying to get rid of this stuff you know I felt quite skeptical but um she seemed like a genuine lady um she was very sort of made up I have to say and I, I wasn't sure whether or not um it was um uh surgery or her products I'm not suggesting for a minute that Judith Williams has had any surgery. I want to be very clear on that. I'm just saying that she had that real look about her, you know, that kind of uh, just uh, very, very taut look. Um, anyway, this is Judith Williams. Okay, there we are. Um, but anyway, I, you know, uh, took a punt and um, ordered the set. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's got fantastic reviews on QVC. I didn't read any of the reviews when I purchased um, the, the set. Um, I'm not even sure there were any. Uh, but anyway, that aside, um, I took, it's kind of, yeah, again, it was one of these, I'll treat myself um, to another set on QVC. Um, and that's what I did. Um, the uh, uh, products, even though you're getting masses, of product um, are very very good excuse me what I want to point out is that because you're getting an awful lot of, an awful lot of product for your money what you need to be very careful of when you when you are buying um, a large product amounts is uh, the um, what is the best before date on products on skincare products so with the Judith Williams set um, as with all uh, skincare products and usually makeup products as well um, you're going to get a little jar on the back of your uh, product bottle uh, uh, tin can whatever um, and on, in this case the uh, the use by date there the best before date then um, tells you that it's 12 months and it's the same on the three products so these products need to be used within their best before date as with all products you should really try and stick to that and the reason for that is um, you'll either find products with a six month 12 month 18 month or 24 month shelf life if you're using products after this shelf life, the preservative within the product, whether it's a paraben based or otherwise, and I believe that the Judith Williams set is paraben free. I can't see on the ingredients list anything that, um, you know, uh, looks like it's a paraben. But whatever preservative is used in whatever product you're purchasing um, is only going to work to keep that product fresh for the time that it stip stipulates on the back of the product. And again, you can see on the face cream you've got there. Uh, 12 months okay so this needs to be used within 12 months if you've got any product left after 12 months because you're perhaps using um, a different range at the same time you need to get rid of it you don't need to be put you don't want to be putting anything on your skin that's gone past the, this shelf life put it in the bin even if you can't see mold developing within the product and most often you can't what you actually tend to get is that it doesn't smell the same put it in the bin don't put that on your skin okay that that's something that i i am um, i certainly um, adhere to okay and i have to be very careful uh, as probably maybe most of us because i do tend to buy quite a few products and try out different ranges and because you know if you're building up a product um store 
then just be aware of that. On that point, um, and really just to finish off, because really uh, I've only got good things to say about this set. They, they do work really, really well. Um, you, you put your um, serum on first, uh, you moisturise your, your eye cream on top, and they do give you a really lovely uh, plump feeling to your skin. Oh, the sun's just gone in. It's just gone a bit dark here. Um, what I'd like to just quickly say is that I bought a, um, a makeup palette from eBay about a year ago, and it was the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked palette. Uh, ordinarily, if you purchase this palette, um, it will cost you around about £36 per palette. Um, from somewhere like Debenhams House of Fraser if you're in the UK. Um, I'm not quite sure regarding sort of US um, uh, sales outlets. Maybe Macy's, listen to me, I've been to New York once. Um, but I purchased a palette from eBay and when it arrived, um, it didn't have the product uh, uh, um, best before date on the back. And straight away I was skeptical, it was a very, very good fake, but it was a fake. I put the product on my eyes it was only after I'd used it that I then checked that little jar symbol on the back and it wasn't there um, and my eyes were streaming okay I'm just gonna go and get my naked my naked palette really quickly so just hang on a second be back in a sec I'm back I'm back I probably should have put some supermarket music on for you just then okay so I've got two uh, proper uh, naked palettes here these are the proper um, uh, palettes that I purchased from um, House of Fraser and you can see on the back of both of them that they have this jar symbol just down here in the corner that's what should be on your uh, your naked palettes and again we have the same here on this one which is just there okay and that's telling me that I need to be using these within 12 months again you're putting this for example these particular palettes on your eyes okay and after 12 months whatever preservative is in there um, is is no longer effective and if you continue to use it you might find that 18 months in to still using the same product range your eyes are stinging a little bit and you're not sure why that's why okay put them in the bin after 12 months okay these have probably um, run their course if I'm actually very honest with you and with that said okay this is how much product I've still got left in the sets. You can see my favourite one there. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I've kind of gone off a, 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 on a tangent a little bit there because obviously, you know, I'm here to talk about the Judith Williams set. The only downside I do have to the Judith Williams set actually is predominantly on this um, serum. Now it's, it seems kind of like a, a, you know, it's a bit picky really of me, but as you can see on the front. It tells me that it's the photo mineral range but if i just rub my finger there okay it's just all comes off onto my finger okay it's just very annoying you get it all over you um and considering that you know it's 55 pounds and i bought it from qvc it wasn't quite what i was expecting from um you know from a a really good um product range from qvc but you know it's just a small point but it does all come off which is yeah it's it's a little bit you know, I don't know, maybe that's just being very picky. But anyway, that's my um, my vlog for today. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, look at this, the sun's out and I'm just like completely chipper. So um, I'm going to do um, my next review on the Body Shop Vitamin E uh, Sorbet. Um, this is a very strange product, I have to say. And I want to do a review on it because I'm finding it... Yeah, it's a, it's a funny one. Um, it's... Uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to start doing the review if I don't stop now. So have a good day. And if you want to um, check out my review on the uh, Body Shop uh, Sorbet, then that'll be my next vlog. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.